India and China have reached an agreement on patrolling their disputed border, a senior Indian official said Monday, marking a major thaw four years after bloody clashes between opposing border guards tanked bilateral relations and reshaped geopolitics in Asia. The Indian announcement, which was not immediately confirmed by the Chinese government, came shortly before both Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping were scheduled to arrive in Russia to attend the BRICS summit hosted by Russian President Vladimir Putin, which begins Tuesday. Speculation has been mounting in recent weeks that the neighbors were working toward a diplomatic breakthrough and that Modi and she could discuss normalizing relations in a face-to-face -face meeting on the sidelines of the BRICS conference in Kazan. Over the last several weeks, Indian and Chinese diplomatic and military negotiators have been in close contact with each other in a variety of forums, and as a result of these discussions, an agreement has been arrived at on patrolling arrangements along the line of actual control, Indian Foreign Secretary Vikram Misri told reporters in New Delhi, referring to the country's contested border. The recent agreement, Misri said, has led to disengagement and a resolution of the issues that had arisen in these areas in 2020. The clashes in 2020 included a deadly melee in June, which resulted in the deaths of dozens of soldiers and was viewed within the Modi government as a betrayal by China. It also presented a diplomatic opening for the United States, which has since significantly tightened military and technological cooperation with India. But U.S.-India ties have been strained in the past year by India's relationship with Russia and allegations that its spy service attempted to assassinate an American Sikh living in New York. U.S. officials say they are not opposed to any deal between India and China that would promote regional peace and prosperity. But a rapprochement between New Delhi, a cornerstone of the Biden administration's strategy to counter China, and Beijing will likely be closely watched in Washington, particularly during a week when Putin is presenting his BRICS summit as a showcase of unity between countries outside the Western camp. Harsh Shringla a former Indian Foreign Secretary and Ambassador to the United States, said the border patrolling agreement removed any impediments to Modi and she meeting this week in Russia and could lead to their respective armies, two of the largest in the world, drawing down the number of troops deployed to the border. But even if India repairs ties with China, Shringla added, its relationship with the United States runs deeper. If we have a situation with China where both sides can now start engaging on the vexing issues, it doesn't mean that you'll suddenly be taking the relationship from 1 to 100, Shringla said in an interview. There will always be issues with us and a neighbor like China. It won't be a free-flowing relationship. For months, Chinese and Indian officials have signaled the possibility of restoring ties. In an interview with Newsweek this summer, Modi said he was open to normalizing ties with China. Chinese officials and state media have publicly talked up the benefits of restoring direct flights and visas for Chinese tourists and business visitors to India, which have been severed. And Indian economic policymakers have argued for the loosening of some people-to-people -people exchanges and Chinese foreign direct investment, which had largely been frozen. But for Modi, a deal which she could be presented to his domestic audience as a victory after four years of hard bargaining said Pramit Pal Chowdhury, South Asia practice head at the Eurasia Group Consultancy. It's a political success as far as Modi is considered, Chowdhury said. We'll probably hear him saying, I made the Chinese walk back from what they did in 2020, and few other countries and few other Indian governments have ever accomplished this. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into geopolitics and global power shifts.